right, guys. We have something pretty exciting here. I'm holding the iGuess Rebel, but I also have the iGuess Rebel on the stand. I have two of them. Well, why? Well, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I talked about how I got one of the first open source versions that they ever came out with, and um, they sent it to me. And again, the open source version does not have all of the uh, computer down here with the control uh, software on the computer. Instead, they basically just have the uh, can high and low and power coming out the bottom. So I was using that for a while, made a bunch of videos on that, but for a long time they've been talking to me about this updated version of the robot. Well, what's different? What's different is this has 70 to 1 gear ratio on the uh, larger joints, still the 50 to 1 on the small, uh, and they have some aluminum parts in there where they used to use uh, plastic to try and make it a little bit more smooth. Without further ado, let's go ahead and put this on repeat, and let's go ahead and let's run the same dance routine that you've seen in the past. So if you've seen previous videos, you've seen this robot, I call it the dance routine because I basically have it going to some extreme positions. Um, and you can hear it moving around there. Same exact thing that I ran on the old one, same exact code. Only thing that I changed was I updated it to use, again, the 70 to one uh, gear ratio. So there's a value called gear scale in the code that I basically had to change. Other than that, it's all working as expected. Um, one cool thing is I was having some joint issues where the other joints were giving me a bunch of errors every once in a while, and this one does not seem to be doing that, so I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, it looks pretty smooth. It's working pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the results here. So we're gonna let it finish its uh, little dance routine here. And then once it's done, we'll go ahead and send that back to uh, We'll send it back to zero. So I think it has one more position. And we'll send this puppy back to zero. And voila, there you have it. I guess Rebel, six axis robot, open source, call it version two. Maybe they have an internal version system, but you know, this is the second variant that I've received. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I look forward to making some more content with this. Um, and yeah, I'm pr pretty excited. Thanks to the guys at iGus, uh, Dylan and Cade, you guys are awesome. Uh, they've helped me a lot um, with this project. So uh, thank you very much and have a good rest of your day.